in previous session i have given this homework based on work done in chemical reaction okay now here this numerical in that see here oxidation of one mole so2 now here in the reaction two mole now here two alternative methods are available just one method see here first convert this to one mole that is divided by two then find out delta n and then find out w that is the one way another way is find out the delta n of this reaction find out work and then divided by two that is that work done is for two mole then for one mole how much okay this one next see here second b formation of one mole of carbon dioxide sorry carbon monoxide now here reaction is c solid plus half o2 gas gives co gas carbon monoxide gas okay now reaction is balanced this reaction is for one mole co now find out delta n now here delta n is 1 minus half that is 0.5 now 0.5 it is a positive delta n is positive therefore work obtained negative see here this one therefore work is done by the system like this so to solve this next one one multiple choice question now here work is done by the system by which of this reaction okay just trick where n2 is more n2 is greater work done by the system if n1 is greater work done on the system okay now we require work is done by the system that is where n2 is greater see here no no gaseous uh, reaction here only one therefore here one and here zero here n2 is greater n2 that is gas gaseous product n1 that is gaseous reaction now here this is the answer okay but find out the n2 of this one now see here 1 1 that is equal 2 2 equal now here 3 and 1 4 here and here 2 here n1 is greater no we require where n2 is greater here n2 is greater if n2 is greater work is done by the system okay that is this is the answer and this is a third question derivation is as i already explained that part okay now let us see the internal energy okay in previous session we studied the first part introduction part from the topic chemical thermodynamics then second one terms used in thermodynamics then third nature of work and heat then fourth point pv type of work its expression and numerical and then fifth point maximum work in that concept expression numericals and one more point work done in chemical reaction its derivation and numerical okay now let us start next point internal energy here consider a system this that substance now every substance associated with the definite amount of energy and that energy is stored in that substance is called internal energy now in exam question may be asked like this define internal energy or what is meant by internal energy then every substance is associated with a definite amount of energy and this energy is stored in that substance is stored in a substance is 
इंटरनल एनर्जी यस मै राइट नेक्स्ट दिस इंटरनल एनर्जी सिंबल इज और इट इज डिनोटेड बाय यू कैपिटल यू ओके नेक्स्ट नाउ कंसीडर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट वन दैट इज दिस इंटरनल एनर्जी द सब्सटेंस इज मेड अप ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी एंड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी of individual particle present in that system okay consider one process suppose a is converted into b this is the initial state with its internal energy is u1 and this is the final state with its internal energy suppose it is a u2 then change in internal energy change in internal energy that is delta u Final minus initial that is u two minus u one. Okay. Now one more thing we studied that state function, path function. Okay. Now here the internal energy is depends only on the initial state and the final state. That is only depends on the state and not depends on the path, not depends on the process how it is carried out. That is it is a state function as it depends on only state of the system okay you know one more that extensive property and intensive property here internal energy depends on the amount of substance if less amount of substance less internal energy more amount of substance more internal energy this depends therefore it is a extensive property it is internal energy is extensive property okay now here one more thing you studied that the system exchanges its energy with the surrounding in the form of heat or work okay now here consider this system okay now heat is sorry energy is transferred to the system energy is transferred to this system by heating it that is heat is added to the system or uh, the work done on the system that is plus w then internal energy of the system increase that is energy is transferred to the system by heating or doing work on it okay next the energy from the system can be transferred that is energy from the system can be removed by cooling it that is heat is removed or doing work on the surrounding by the system here internal energy is decrease here energy is added or transferred to the system here energy is removed from the system in the form of heat or work okay now the unit of energy unit of internal energy it is energy one form of energy that is it is also one form of energy it is also one form of energy that is unit of internal energy is same to that of work and q okay Now consider some examples. How that internal energy changes? How it is determined logically by using this one? So here, consider system. Suppose now here, heat is added. Suppose plus ten kilojoule. Here heat is added. Therefore plus ten kilojoule. Then delta U, delta U is equal to Plus ten kilojoule. Unit is same. Okay. Next, consider another thing. Suppose here heat is added plus that is it is added therefore plus five kilojoule. And suppose work done on the system is ten kilojoule. Now it is done on the system therefore plus. Therefore delta U is yes it is a Fifteen. That is plus fifteen kilojoule. 
consider another one here suppose work done by the system suppose the amount is 20 kilojoule it is done by the system therefore minus therefore delta u is equal to minus 20 kilojoule consider another example here suppose it is added 5 kilojoule added therefore plus 5 and work done by the system is suppose 10 kilojoule therefore it is minus now minus 10 and this plus 5 therefore delta u is minus 5 kilojoule another one here suppose work done on the system is 25 kilojoule it is done on the system therefore plus and suppose heat is removed removed suppose 10 kilojoule removed therefore minus now here this this is a plus 15 kilojoule internal energy change delta u is plus 15 take one more example here suppose work done by the system is 20 kilojoule now it is by the system therefore minus and here heat is removed cool the system then suppose it is a 20 kilojoule removed therefore minus now delta u is minus 40 kilojoule okay in this way logically you can determine the change in internal energy it is very similar to our bank balance bank balance that is the money that is is the internal energy okay now here internal energy here it is money now if you deposited cash or deposited check internal energy decrease or suppose if remove the some cash or withdraws by check then the internal energy is decrease so very similar now same the change in internal energy delta u can be determined by using first law of thermodynamics we will consider that part in the next session I will explain that in the next session how change in internal energy is determined by first law of thermodynamics. Okay, this is about the internal energy. Now, consider the homework based on this part. Okay. This is the homework based on part internal energy. Questions are very simple. The answers of these questions are available in this session only. Please solve these questions. If you have any doubt, you write an email. Okay. Next one, one important point here. Delta U, that is change in internal energy. Delta U always carries sign, even if it is a positive. Okay. Next now. In next session, I will start the point first law of thermodynamics. Very interesting part.